All right, guys, this is episode number 279, 279 episodes on this channel. Started this channel two years ago. I've been selling pieces of cardboard with human beings and sometimes dogs on eBay for about 17 months. So I went to the Nerdin' Out Mega Sale and they had 30 vendors. Only one vendor was selling sports cards. I ended up buying 80% of his cards. These are ones that I originally picked up, a dollar a piece. I think it was like 15 for $10, so it ended up being about $30 of the cards. Before I left, he offered the whole box for $100. So it was all dollar bin type of cards, and I got them for three cents a piece. Assuming there's about three to 4,000 cards, which I think there is. Penny sleeves take up some space, but I think there's 3,000 cards. So I'll show those at the end. The previous video, I highlighted those first two rows. I'm gonna try to go a little quicker this time so we can get through the final three in a reasonable amount of time. There's some basketball rookies to start us off. Trey Young went to Duke, went to Apple Valley, Minnesota for high school. So a local kid. Josh Giddy, that's a good one. Jalen Green, Kaminga, more Suggs. These are all Chronicles. Prism and Donruss mixed in. Cam Johnson, Scotty Barnes, Rookie of the Year, winner Evan Mobley. Now, with all the new trades recently NBA, it's got me excited for NBA postseason. After the All-Star game is where the fun starts. I'm sure more viewers watch games, more buzz about the sport. I would assume more sales on eBay. Let the fun begin. March Madness is in two weeks. That's the second year in a row that I've been able to watch it from home, not teaching anymore. Let's see Walker Kessler. Could have been a Timberwolf. So second year in a row, I've been able to watch the games as I please. In my classroom, we occasionally had it on during lunch and recess. Some days I would invite students to bring their lunch in and watch basketball on the projector. Maybe about 10% of my class would take that offer. Jalen Suggs. So far, I think they're all rookies. I'll take that. There were dividers in there that were said what they were, and I think this was basketball rookies. So it makes sense. Nothing so far in this video that's worth buying for a buck in my eyes. The giddy rookies are close, but not quite there. Lots of good deals in the baseball so far. Got a couple of vets in there now. Yeah, none of these I would say are worthy of putting in the dollar box. That one maybe. Another winter storm coming to Minnesota, Thursday, Friday, 10 to 15 inches of snow is what the forecast said. So maybe another snow day. I think we've already had four this year. Some good ones, Giddy. KD. Trey Mitchell, Tatum. Those are all stars that I have lots on eBay for. Giannis. 
Ja. Come on, Ja. Why'd you do it? Jordan. Would have picked that one up if I saw it. Booker. Booker looked really good game yesterday that I watched. I think I got enough for another Tatum lot. I'm amazed by how quick Luca cards sell for. Whoa, speak of the devil. I could raise the price on them, but I don't know. I kind of like how they sell quick. I'd rather have $45 now than $49 in a month, maybe. So I can do more with that $45 today. And Rogers. All right, two more of this row. Got a little Walter Payton. Rogers. Nothing big here, but great for player sections. Yeah, I'm gonna have like 3,000 penny sleeves with stickers on them. Could just flip them around, but I'm kind of picky like that. I shouldn't be. These ones I'll probably just throw away. If they're not price gun dollar. Man, it's a thick card. Oh, the buzzer went off. The laundry's dry. How many loads of laundry do you guys do? Well, in some cases, how much does your wife do? But I would say it's like two to three every day for me. Between clothes and bed sheets and coats and youngest likes to wear a bunch of outfits. The black ones are the ones out of Chronicles, the previews. Chris Goodwin. That might be worth. Yeah, I'm gonna put them in. So like four dollars shipped. Not worth my time right now. Not even know if the good one's gonna stay. Tampa Bay. Watson. Jamar Chase. What's that? Astro? Cosmos. It's a cool looking insert. Kenneth Walker. Hutchinson. Zach Wilson. Zappy, Drake London's good, Garrick Wilson, Reggie Bush, it's a nice one, future Hall of Famer,
Nice rookies in here. Nothing huge, but a lot of 50 cents to a dollar rookies. Christian Kirk found his new home in Jacksonville. Frank Gore rookie. That's top loader worthy. Maybe three bucks. Devontae Smith rookie. Trey Lance rookie. Got an offer on 20 cheap Tua rookies out of Chronicles. They're all the same. I think there's 10 of them. I got him in auction for $1.49. But the guy offered 20. I accepted that. He hasn't paid yet. With shipping, I probably turned about $2.50. After shipping, $2.50 into $14, I guess, with that. Let's say conservatively $10 on the two of cards. Yeah, TNT, is it TNT, New Jersey, something like that. It does combined shipping, it does a lot of lots that go for really cheap. I think I got a couple packages coming in the mail from them today. It's supposed to arrive today. I usually don't make mail day videos with the price I paid, but. I'm thinking about it. It'll take a little bit of work up front to write down what I paid on each card, but there's a lot of good deals. There's one one night where he had at least four to five thousand auctions ending. And I was gonna go to bed at eleven o'clock. I'm like, oh, I'll just look at all the auctions ending that day and then go to bed. I ended up staying up until one o'clock. See, had so many auctions ending the same time. I've never seen that many for him. So my dad was helping, looking at my eBay store and looking at all the features of the seller. He couldn't do anything because the notification thing would come down every couple seconds and it just would not stop in the hour that he was helping. He's like, there's no way you bid on that many cards. I'm like, well, I might have bid on 500 items that night. And I won 70, which I'm shocked I won that many. But whenever I make a bid, I pay in the very low end what I'd be happy with. Knowing that I'm gonna win a bunch, but knowing that I'm also gonna lose a bunch because my offer is so low. Not surprised at my lowball offers on that many auctions that I won that many. Always takes me a while, like four days to combine shipping after you message. Works at his own pace, which I don't care if I get the cards later. Doesn't bother me. They're gonna sit in packages for a couple days anyways. Look at Aaron Rodgers. About one and a half rows left. Illusions makes really cool inserts. That might be numbered. Maybe? Nope. I tried. So a player like that probably doesn't have many cards, so that might be worth selling to. Got an American flag in there. Somebody's a fan. He's got like a mullet, maybe. So many cards. I was telling myself I wasn't gonna buy collections and then they just kinda fall in my lap. Number to 50. The last couple of them I wasn't planning on buying anything and then I get messages. People know that I buy. 
So I gotta change my buying strategy. Def definitely offer less, because if I don't get the deal, it's totally fine, because I have a bunch I can work with. Number to 50, one of 50. Kelsey Fields, Taylor. Two nine nine. Joey B. Two more stacks, and I'll show you the ones that I was gonna buy before the whole box was offered. These are out of the new score. I don't understand the wild card set. I don't get it. I know in the last row there's some autos and jersey cards as well. Ritter, I think he'll be good next year. I almost bought a couple RPAs of him. It doesn't take long to get out of my price range, though, for stuff like that. All right, so these are the ones that I originally had for a buck, knowing that I'd get it for like 70 cents. So insert Acuna. I just like Warren Spawn. Wander, Rookie, Bobochette. Moonshots, Stanton, Judge. And I thought these were two for a dollar. So I guess I was thinking they were 50 cents. President Nixon throwing on the first pitch, Bobachette. 50 cents, I thought it was a good deal. I guess I got it for three cents now. Tatum, I like the hoop slam inserts. They're not in retail this year. Sammy Sosa, Wander debut, Tops traded, Randy Johnson, it's a cool looking, Barry Sanders, Chrome, Peyton Manning, extra points, Rogers, insert Rogers, these uh, stamped buybacks they put in packs one year, I thought that was kind of cool. I like those original cards like that. This one, I think, is Opeachy. I think it is. It's got that white look on the back. I think it is Opeachy. I love it if someone told me. Or it's high number. One of those two where it's something unique and good. Got a jersey card. Got an auto. Orange Maroney. Number 250. Jose Miranda. And then the last stack of ones I would have got. I thought that was two for a dollar. I think all of the jersey cards I thought were two for a dollar. I, I set out. Yeah. Cam Thomas. I'm sure that was a $15 card for a couple games. Trevor Lawrence. Capstone jersey card. Prospect Prism card. I don't know what this sells for. Common jerseys and autos. Short print, Clayton Kershaw. Number 725, last card in the whole set that year. Ted Williams in his little outfit there for the, the Navy. Trout looking young there. And then a Goldschmidt gold. Goldschmidt gold. All right, the rest of these are back ones that I passed on that I ended up getting for three cents a piece. There's some more autos. 
Tom Brady's. So I passed on these at the price. Still good buys though. Patty Mahomes. I think I just sold a lot of Texas Tech Patrick Mahomes. Time to build a new one. I don't think that's Anthony Edwards autograph. Probably not. What do you guys think? Cat Towns. Rick Rickert. Gopher. Oh, Gopher just hit the ground. Oh, Jefferson Refractor. Cool looking Edwards. Skyview. Puckett. Ooh. The mid 90s were obsessed with this. Maurice Lewis. We got some twins, some Twinkies. Gold Buxton. I'm going to guess about 10 more handfuls. And I got to make some food when the kids come home. Number to 299 or 199? 199. All right. More buckets. Collect a book. If you've never seen these before, they're kind of cool. And little stories. Little personal stories and stats. Kind of unique. Jeff Lanning. Never heard of you. Interesting combo. Killebrew. Silver signature. I like those. 86 All Star. 89 upper deck and 86 tops. Those are two premium sets. Not really. Least favorite design ever. 95 Fleer. Seventy-one tops. Vikings. That's kind of cool. Oh, it looks like all the Vikings from the previous or two videos ago. That as I'm recording this, I still haven't posted that video, so I'm actually three videos ahead. It's never happened. So you'll see a bunch of the Vikings, or see a bunch of these cards, but all the Vikings were pulled out. Maybe that's a real autograph. Before I list any autographs, if it's in person, I got to compare autos, see if it's legit. And the Patriots get out. Some more Vikings. Let's see if we can keep this under 27 minutes. Rookie Robert Woods Chrome, he's had a good career. Madrashad 
Some older 70s baseball, Jim Palmer. That's an 89 card. Jimmy Fox. Don't know what year that's from. Late 70s something. 86. Way off. Nolan Ryan. Can't go wrong with that. I think that's rookie. Morton Anderson, maybe. see hockey. Bummer. It's a vintage baseball. What year is that? 80 sometime. Another one of those ones you got in modern packs. Golden Guard. Unitas from 81. Is that Jim Brown? Maynard? Oh, Namath. Dick Simpson. Another Dick. Two Marines and hockey. I know nothing about. What is this? Uh, I don't know what this is. Something special. And then this dude, Bronson. All right, last stack, and then we're done. Wayne Gretzky. This girl, Michelle. These must be better ones because the more common ones were in the other box. But don't know any of them. Arnold Palmer. I like his drink. Yeah, I don't know. I'll see you guys in about five years. All right. Thanks for watching. That's it. Well, see you next time.